Are you having problems with crackling, stuttering and choppy audio playback? Well, then this tutorial is for you. Let's get into it. Well, what's the reason this kind of issue appears? Well, usually it's a driver issue, most commonly your sound card driver and sometimes your network card's drivers. Before we dive into that, I want to mention some other reasons that can cause the same issues. While I personally trust the wires a lot more for both reliability and health, a lot of people like to use wireless headphones. If you do, these wireless headphones communicate through Bluetooth or similar. This connection might be disturbed by other devices using the same or similar connections. Deactivate Bluetooth and turn off all wireless devices. Connect in only your headphones and see if the issue appears. Then we have people who have reported to me that their crackling issue was because of their extremely dusty computers. If your computer is filled with dust, the dust can interfere with the electronics and cause crackling audio. If you have an extremely dusty PC, clean it up and see if the issue remains. Get up control panel by search. And then you just go to category view by and select large icons instead. Then you go to sound. Here in sound, you go to the sound device that you are uh, using. And if you're unsure which one is the correct, you can right click them and click test and see if it's right. And the one that is right, you mark and you click set as default. Uh, double click that. And then you go to levels you can make sure it's not muted or something uh, then we have enhancements you want to keep this little box here disable all enhancements checked because the enhancement might cause stuttering issues on your system and it's usually just best to use your sound raw i'd say there are other softwares that are more better actually if you want to change the sound so just keep a disable all enhancement it's for the best then you go to advanced and here you can have the audio quality um, and the higher this is it's a slightly heavier for the performance but not that much you should care about it in my opinion set this as high as possible 24 bit and this um, however if you have any kind of issues or compatibility issues like if you're using skype it might be necessary to select this at 16 bit 44 100 hertz like cd quality you can set it as cd quality and you will have much better compatibility with other, other programs but you will lose a little bit of the uh, audio resolution so if you don't have any trouble having it higher keep it as high as possible Different sound cards are differently sensitive, but if you keep your volume at like 1% or 2%, the volume might be so low that the sound card accidentally pick up other electromagnetic disturbances from other cards and electronics around it. That might cause some audio disturbances and crackling audio. On the other hand, if the audio is 100% boosted like that, then it might also crackle because the sound card might get a little bit over flooded with the signals and that might also cause crackling audio and disturbances. Generally, you want to keep your Windows volume bar from 30 to 80%. If your crackling and stuttering audio playback issues are not completely gone by this initial tips, you'll need to go through with looking at the sound and perhaps network drivers. So hang in there. This first solution we will look at usually solves the problem for people that are using Realtek sound cards. It might solve the issue for other people too, but it's mostly relevant for those with a Realtek sound card, which is quite common. What you need to do is basically use another type of driver. So how do we do this? 
Well, we do it like this. You click the Windows and the X key. Here we get this menu and you can launch the, the, the device manager as it is called. On the device manager, we go down here, we have sound, video and game controllers. Here we have the Realtek High Definition Audio. What you want to do is you want to right click this and you go to update the driver. Before you complete this step, you should note that the sound from your system will disappear and you need to restart the computer for the sound to come back. So watch the entire video before you follow all of my instructions. Then you do like this, browse my computer for driver software. And then you select let me pick from a list of available drivers. Then you make sure this show compatible hardware is checked. And then you should see Realtek High Definition Audio and High Definition Audio Device. Select the High Definition Audio Device, not the Realtek one, and click Next. Click Yes to this box. You can always revert the changes afterwards if you are unhappy with it. Then you will need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. When a computer is restarted again, you can go into Device Manager again. And you can see that you now have the high definition audio device. However, we are not completely done yet. You can also go to the control panel and click sound here. And inside here you can see it's called high definition audio device. Uh, as well as on the microphone. Windows Update may install new drivers, the Realtek drivers that will override this change, or at least did for me, which eventually will bring back the problems you just fixed. If you need to stop this, what you can do is you go to the control panel, go to Devices and Printers. Inside Devices and Printers, find your computer, right-click it, and go down to Device Installation Settings. On the device installation settings, you will click no on do you want to automatically download manufacturers apps and custom icons available for your devices. Click no and save the changes. This may cause some other stuff to not work properly. And if you notice that, just change that back and let Windows Update do its job. But then you might need to go back to device manager and basically install the Windows high definition drivers instead of the Realtek ones because unfortunately the Realtek drivers haven't worked very well for well they never work very well sadly. If you for some reason need to change back the drivers to the old Realtek one just go into device manager right click and select update the drivers and then select automatically search online for the drivers and it will find the latest uh, Realtek drivers you had earlier and install them instead. Something that's always worth trying when trying to solve general sound issues in Windows 10 is to go into the device manager again and then we go through all of the sound devices and inactivate them, deactivate them, right click and deactivate them. And when they are inactive, you just go in there again and you activate them one by one. This might cause your sound issues to be gone. Always worth a try, but it's mostly commonly solves issues when the sound is gone completely. While rare, Sonalarm antivirus has been reported to cause crackling and audio issues for some people when using especially online services. To install it, you'll need to go to Control Panel as I've shown here and select Uninstall on Sonalarm Free Antivirus. Check Yes and let it uninstall the software. By doing this, you can check if it removed your crackling issues, which for some people happen and usually then on online sound sources like YouTube or others. Then, after you have installed the software, you'll need to check that Windows Firewall is active and working. If it didn't change the crackling, you can install it again, since it's safer. Sonalarm, that is. Now, another thing that might cause issues like this is old 
or non-functional network drivers. When the drivers to your Ethernet or Wi-Fi card is outdated, some crackling issues with audio playback, especially online, might appear. <clears throat> but it might appear offline as well. It's really strange. What you can do is you can right click them and you can select update and try to search for an update automatically. Alternatively, you could find a manufacturer of your network card and go to their homepage and there download the latest drivers. Then you'll install that and see if the crackling disappears by that. But of course, that would be far too simple. Yes, drivers is weird, Windows 10 is weird and a lot of things can go wrong. Turns out the newest drivers, it's not always best for you. In my case, for example, I had to use an older driver for it to work. To do this, you go into Device Manager, you right click, you click Update and you select a driver from those available on your PC. There, you can go into your Ethernet card and select an older version. I set the version that is the eldest uh, of those I have. This combination with a Windows high definition and the older Ethernet driver did remove the crackling audio problem for me completely. In addition to that, I turned off that Windows could automatically install new drivers um, and by this triple combination, I could remove my crackling problems completely. If you are using a wired connection and your computer starts giving you the crackling sounds after the, it has woken up from sleep mode, the problem can sometimes be fixed like this. You go to Network Adapters and then you'll find your wired network. Here we have the wireless, here we have the not wireless, <laughs> uh, the wired connection. And you write, uh, double click it and get this little uh, menu here. And then you go to the power management tab. And here you can have this checkbox allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Uncheck that and select OK. Now this is good for wired connections, but I wouldn't do this for wireless connections because you don't want it um, you know, active all the time. On the wired connection it doesn't really matter, but uh, usually when you have it plugged in like that you also have a power cable, which is the point. Anyhow, this is a common solution if the crackling appears after it has woken up from sleep mood. Now I haven't had this issue myself, but other peoples have reported that using an ad block uh, plugin into your browser has caused audio to crackle. So you can try to remove that or just install another browser and see if it uh, doesn't appear in a browser without that block. This last method I'm going to show you is a little bit of the heavy artillery and basically check your network cards and also your sound cards as we looked at before but this time uh, you just right click all of them and click uninstall. Do this for all the network cards and the sound cards. Now I'm showing you the uh, network cards here but it also includes the sound cards there, Realtek, high definition audio, those we looked at before. Right click them and click uninstall. When you have done this, you will restart your computer and when you have restarted your computer, they should come with the common base thing that came when you got your computer first, basically. That is the one that should be installed. By doing this, you should also be able to remove your issues. And when you have done that, make sure you have also locked Windows to not update any new drivers as we looked in, um, as we looked to do before. Uh, if you do this, then you should probably have solved the problem. Also remember you can turn on the auto update thing if you need to in the future. It might be a little bit different for you, but I think that all these tips combined in this video should help you find a permanent solution 
to your crackling problems. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope it did resolve your issues. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe for future videos. You can also donate if you want to help the channel out. In any case, this has been Jimodism Total Nerdy Channel. Jimodism, signing out.